Who do you want to investigate the Democratic members of Congress for un-American thinking? Well, the plan that I've been talking about all through this election is really four things, and I would encourage the new Republican leadership to take this on as the agenda in 2011, and it's very simple. It's keep the current tax policy so no one has increased taxes. Number two, we need to put a full-scale repeal of Obamacare, pass through the House, hopefully it can get through the Senate, and then number three, we need to make sure that we secure the United States borders, and number four, we need to make sure that we don't have a huge increase in national energy tax. Those are the four issues that the American people want the Congress to deal with because they want to get certainty back into the economy. Right. What this election shows is that people believe in this country. They love free enterprise. Right. They love capitalism. Are you, are you, make sure that we have jobs going forward. Let me ask you, Congresswoman. Congresswoman Bachman, are you hypnotized tonight? Has someone hypnotized you? Because no matter what I ask you, you give the same answer. <laughs> are you hypnotized? Has someone put you under a, a trance tonight that you give me the same answer no matter what question I put to you? I think, I think the American people are the ones that are finally are speaking tonight. We're coming out of our trance. Really, we're coming out of our nightmare. Okay, so well, I, I think people are thrilled tonight. I, I imagine that thrill is probably maybe not quite so tingly on your leg anymore. I I'm know you sure get to that. that. Your sign holder has already raised that issue. Well, someday we'll have you on the show again, and we'll get to the investigations. But congratulations. I know you will never be defeated on your philosophy, which is to investigate everyone for everything. Which is free markets and embrace okay. the principles yeah. of our founders. Okay, thank you very much, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, who uh, seems to be in a trance, but thank you. Back to you, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Between the trance wow. and the tingle, I, I feel like... No, it's I, not a tingle. That's their word. I when does this word. I never use that word. physical. I never that's what I want to know. I 2006. Never so, let, I mean, let's, can we talk for a second about what they're trying to do there? With that sign, they're trying to say MSNBC is in the tank and NBC, no, no, no. NBC is in the tank for let me, let me get back that's to this. That's what they're trying to say. That's, that's an hominem. Back during uh, mm -hmm. the 2004 Democratic Convention in Boston, when Barack Obama gave an inspiring speech about America and what America is capable of, and I wish he'd get back to talking about our country mm -hmm. and that adv exceptional aspect of this country. You can actually come here and become an American no matter what your background. That wonderful aspect that a lot of people believe in about our country as the wonderful aspect of our country that is exceptional. Something Senator Rubio I was, just I was, talked I was, about. I was thrilled by that, and I said so. And uh, physically thrilled. When people talk about this country, I do it that way. I am in, in overwhelmed by this country. They're making fun of me, fine, for saying that. I can live with that.